Hi and welcome to How to Use CAD. I'm Tom Norris and for today's tutorial I'm going to show you the benefits of creating and adding layers to your drawings. So without further explanation, uh, let's get to work. Okay, we've, uh, we're in model space. Uh, I'm using TurboCAD uh, 2022 Deluxe 64. Um, it's the latest version of TurboCAD and um, it, it, it does, uh, it's certainly worth the effort to get it. Uh, what I love most about uh, the updated TurboCAD is the fact that it can open any type of uh, CAD files, uh, whereas the older versions uh, you can get stuck occasionally uh, when you're trying to open a, a CAD file that's uh, maybe two years uh, newer than uh, the actual software you're using. But anyway, TurboCAD uh, 2022, a uh, lovely bit of kit, so I'd, I'd upgrade as soon as I can if I was you. Uh, right, we're looking at um, layers today, and we're looking at the benefits of using layers. So what we've got in front of us here is, it's a project, uh, it's a bungalow project, in fact, and uh, we're looking at a few different layouts. Um, for our client, uh, so if we look at if we focus on these two, uh, <coughs> we've uh, carved up. This is the this was the existing, and um, this was a proposed. And one of the ideas we had for this project was pushing out here over an existing, and um, just getting a a, a larger, an uh, extra bedroom into the uh, first floor. Um, but what we've done here is um, to demonstrate or communicate the design for the client, we've added furniture because it's really important to uh, show the furniture uh, to see uh, what, how much you know, floor space you've got by the time you've added a bed, etc. And uh, that's, a, that, that's pretty useful because most of our clients wouldn't be able to visualize uh, just by giving them the empty boxes. Um, so we've also uh, popped in wardrobes or popped in something to emphasize wardrobes and storage in the bedrooms. Uh, nothing in this one but if we come down here you can see we've got wardrobe spaces and these are pretty deep they're about 650 uh, deep 650 mil. Um, doors are standard width again uh, so you know you try to work your be work the best way with the doors in the old days they used to always have the doors set in a privacy mode which was to basically shield the bed until you're well into the room nowadays we don't do that we look for the most convenient way of getting into the bedroom another th point is that um, all the beds uh, I've given the measurement because double beds vary uh, considerably depending on where you get uh, they, they, they can vary, they can be 50 mil over or 100 mil wider and still be classified as a double bed. So I've given the measurements on this one. Um, what else have I done? Okay, so because it's a bungalow, these are sloping roofs. Uh, so they go up a bit, they go, come up about a meter and that's the, that's, the, uh, and that's, the, that's the point where they start sloping in. That's actually, that line here is representing the ceiling. So as you can see, the wardrobes, by the time you put the wardrobes in, the rooms are looking square, and we're not looking at a sloping ceiling, uh, which, you know, that's, that's a great effect for a first floor on a bungalow. Again here, uh, probably uh, the line is, we're going to get a little bit of a slope on the ceiling just above the wardrobes, but nevertheless, uh, the wardrobes are helping to disguise the fact that the, um, the roof is sloping. Right, so let's get on to layers. Uh, layers, well, I, I can. I suppose I could talk for ten minutes, or I can just demonstrate, and I think demonstrating would be better. Uh, so let's let's get on with it. First off, uh, over on my right, we've got palettes, and uh, the only palette I've got here is a tool palette. So in order to work with layers, what I need to do is uh, open up uh, another palette. So let's go up here to the top right bring up the customize menu, go to palettes, and what I need here is the design director. Uh, as you can see now, we've switched here to the design director. So you can have, you know, half a dozen palettes here open as you see fit, and you s generally these icons get smaller, so you can switch back, switch between the two palettes, 
design director uh, anytime you want. So now layers, absolutely simple process, very, very simple to learn. And I suggest uh, you give it a go. Take out one of your drawings and then pick something within the drawings <coughs> uh, that you can practice layers with. And incidentally, um, uh, you can add layers at any point. You don't need to set them up at the front. Some people might and uh, others will uh, put them in at the end because uh, they'll find that the drawings are getting a bit too cluttered. You can put them in any time. Uh, but uh, but as long as you understand that it's there for you and you can use it anytime you want. So, so, so right, let, let's create a layer for this particular drawing. Or, in fact, probably even better, let's create a layer to cover us for these two drawings. So, if we go up here into the design director, it says new layer, if you just hover over. So, click on that. And what are we going to call the new layer? Let's call it furniture. If you are in a T-U-R-E. And so now we've got a line down here. We've got a little, uh, uh, we've got a little row here. And we've got a, this is basically an eye. When the eye is on, uh, you can see whatever it is. And when the eye is off, uh, you don't see. So let me just click back. Right. So to, get right to it. I'm going to select um, th this bed and the, uh, the little tables and I'm going to click it here on the furniture. Just do a little tick and as you can see nothing's changed and the reason nothing has changed is because the eye is visible. So if I just click the eye my bed has disappeared. Uh, it's that simple. So again click the eye open the eye <laughs> um, the, the bed is back right so now let's add another another element within the drawing to to uh, the layer furniture layer so this is basically a layer that has its furniture only so all I do is select it and click on this this little uh, area here once I've done that um, it becomes part of that particular layer, becomes part of the furniture layer. So let me work my way through it. Furniture. Now nothing is happening within the drawing because the eye is open, which means it's showing. Uh, we can go the other way, which will help us to find out which bits we haven't done yet. So now we're going to add layers again and just click. So we go down just to make sure we get it all right. And I'm going to speed it up just a touch. Furniture. Furniture. You notice I've, I've clicked a few bits that aren't actually furniture. With that because I've clicked the bedroom or the room titles on some of them. And we can look at that in a minute. Furniture. furniture. Well, there you go. All the furniture is gone and it's on a layer. So now uh, I can print off. I can print off here without the furniture. Let the client see. And if I want to print off with the furniture. Open the eye. Right. So now, as you can see, uh, some of the uh, bedroom titles are missing. So what we do here is put everything back on and we create a new layer. So new layer would be, uh, what should we call it? Titles, T-L-E-S, room titles. T -L -E, room title. Okay, so now we go get that one. We go room title. And we turn the eye off and they'll disappear. Room title. Room title. Room title. Let's get to it. Room title. Room title. 
there we go and room title so now we can show them all again as you can see we're looking at them all so let me see if i uh, take away the furniture you can see that the uh, because i've added these uh, room titles to another layer they'll show even though i remove the furniture uh, okay so put them all on everything on so you're getting the hang of this now it's not rocket science uh, we'll do one more item and then uh, I think uh, you need to understand it by then so let's select the uh, furniture what are we going to do with that now do you, should you know or do you know what should I do if I want to hide the, hide the, uh, the fitted wardrobes uh, did I hear somebody say create a new layer that sounds like a good idea new layer um, F-I-T-T-E-D, fitted W-A-R-D-R-O-P-E-S. New layer. And we knock it off. Right, fitted wardrobes. Fitted wardrobes. Fitted wardrobes getting my news feeds coming in here uh, which can't be helped right what the what else we got any more wardrobes yeah do it again up here fitted wardrobes fitted wardrobes so as you can see um, you can do it later you can come you know you can do the drawing do it any way you want and then afterwards you can create the layers so that you can unclutter or you can add layers right at the beginning and assign assign the items or the elements as you in, as you put them in uh, you get windows you do the bathroom fittings kitchen fittings uh, furniture uh, create layers as much as you want um, yeah, so I, I, I think that, I think that's about as much. If you don't know it by now, um, the, then I think you should pursue a different career because it uh, really is quite simple. Um, right, put everything back on, and as you can see, so that's how we use layers in within CAD. Um, so if we want to do lighting, for example, that can be layers. We want to use uh, flooring finishes or, you know, uh, let's assume this was a block of flats if we want to show uh, fire fire doors or fire um, you know fire alarms smoke alarms anything like that anything we want to add into a drawing all we have to do is add a new layer here and then we can sh decide to show it or not to show it uh, same applies for you know where we're using fill tools this was to demonstrate a flat roof this was to demonstrate a little pitched apex roof so you know we can assign those um, into a layer and decide to show them or not show them we want to add color to a drawing colored elements we can put the colored bits on a layer and add or take out so that's it that's that's what layers is all about um, if you have ideas or anything you want to ask uh, do leave a comment and i'll try and get back to you uh, but in the meantime, thank you very much for uh, watching, and I hope you've got some value out of this. Um, it's, been, it's, it's an absolute pleasure uh, doing these videos, and I do get some feedback, and uh, i love to hear from you. So by all means, leave a comment at some point if you get the opportunity. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video.